Hello, welcome to Psalms of the Savior, Devotions for His Sheep. I'm Joshua Vanzenbeek, and today we're going to be looking together at Psalm 52. I'm really excited to share this psalm with you, because I think it's a chance for us to understand, no matter how much it looks like evil might be winning in the world, God's love will not be overcome. So let's start together by reading the psalm. I'm going to be reading from the English Standard Version. Uh, you are welcome to follow along with me in your Bibles, or just listen if you like. Psalm 52. Why do you boast of evil, O mighty man? The steadfast love of God endures all day. Your tongue plots destruction, like a sharp razor, you worker of deceit. You love evil more than good, and lying more than speaking what is right. You love all the words that devour, O deceitful tongue. But God will break you down forever. He will snatch and tear you from your tent. He will uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous shall, shall see and fear, and shall sit and laugh at him, saying, See the man who would not make God his refuge, but trusted in the abundance of his riches, and sought refuge in his own destruction. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the steadfast love of God forever and ever. I will thank you forever, because you have done it. I will wait for your name, for it is good in the presence of the godly. If it seems to you today that evil and turmoil abound in the world, you'd be right. Right now there's a war going on in Europe, and a significant moral slide in Europe and North America and really all around the world. There's growing unrest concerning China, and there's the knowledge that COVID may or may not become endemic at some point. It's just, these are just a few of the highlights of the sea of problems that our world is riddled with. And if we focus on these things, we can clearly see that the world has a lot of problems and that Satan is working overtime against God. Well, we can get discouraged by that, but we need to remember that God is not halted by these things and he is not overcome by them. The enemy cannot overcome God's steadfast love. And this is what Psalm 52 is pointing out. That those who put their faith and their trust in him find health and life in the presence of Yahweh. Psalm 52 shows us that those who choose to put their trust in evil, in themselves, and in Satan's way are, are deceived. Following the path of unrighteousness never amounts to anything good. David wrote Psalm 52, probably after Doeg the Edomite killed the priests of Nob, back in the book of 1 Samuel. Doeg committed this horrific sin, and he was proud of it. And David looks up and he says, why are you proud of this? Doing evil and boasting in it only leads to destruction. Working against God only leads to destruction. David knows this, and he calls out those who would follow that path. You know, I think many today boast in their accomplishments and their practices that are clearly against God. And they are proud of their sin. And in today's world, it really can seem like um, these people are everywhere. And it may seem perhaps that the enemy does have the upper hand. But we know that Jesus won the victory over sin, over death, and over Satan. Satan can try as hard as he likes to turn this world from God. But ultimately, this path leads to destruction. So when we see evil in the world, we don't need to be afraid of it. We don't need to fear Russia. We don't need to fear the moral decay in the world or perhaps the plethora of other things you could probably plug into this context. Instead, we need to make the confident assertion that God has won the battle and that evil will be done away with. Psalm 52 points its reader to the righteous way, exposing the folly and deception of the wicked, and showing how boasting in evil only leads to death, while following Yahweh's way leads to life. And there's a call for all of us to follow the way of Yahweh, and to turn from sin. I have a couple of questions for you to consider. The first is, do you respond to evil? in this world with fear or with confidence? 
The second one is knowing God's steadfast love. Will you be merciful to sinners and warn them of the coming judgment, even as this psalm does? I encourage you to consider those today and to ask the Lord to show you how they can work in your life and how Psalm 52 can work in your life. Let's pray. God, we just praise you and we thank you. And we thank you that you are not overcome by the problems of this world. God, we know that our world is decaying that it is riddled with sin. God, that the enemy works overtime, night and day, to try and undermine you. God, we are under attack and in a spiritual battle. God, there are so many out there that are deceived, who are not following your way. So Lord, we ask today that you would continue to strengthen us, to be a light for you in this world. And God, that you would continue to get a hold of people's hearts. Thank you that you are faithful. Thank you that you are not overcome. Thank you that we do not have to fear. But instead, we can walk in confidence knowing that our God is a conqueror and that we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. We pray this in your name. Amen.